who will sing at Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's wedding reception. It will most certainly be the wedding party to top all wedding parties, but who will Prince Harry and Meghan Markle choose to sing at their wedding reception next spring? One thing we know for sure is that the royal groom-to-be has no shortage of choices. He recently convinced both Bruce Springsteen and Brian Adams to sing at the closing ceremony of the Invictus Games in September, showing his appreciation by bowing down to them both. Last year, Coldplay dropped everything to headline a concert at Kensington Palace for his charity, Cynthia Ball, and back in 2007, he called on Rod Stewart, Elton John. Pharrell Williams and Duran Duran to play at a concert to commemorate the 10th anniversary of his mother, Princess Diana's death. Ed Sheeran recently said that should the couple ask him to do the honors, he'd be down for the gig. Multi-Grammy winner and royal fan Sam Smith has put his name into the hat, with one small caveat. I'm obsessed. I want to sing at the wedding, he told The Sun, adding, Oh my God I'd love to, it would be a dream. The Brit singer who has met Prince Harry joked that if he were to get the gig of the decade, I'd have to wear a dress and a crown though. British grime and hip-hop artist Sturmzy has also put himself forward as a contender, saying at the recent MOBO Awards, where he picked up three awards, that he would love to provide a little acoustic for young Harry at the royal wedding next spring. Harry could call in a favor from the killers. He's such good friends with the band he even joins them in their jamming sessions although Meghan might have some competition on the dance floor as drummer Ronnie Vanucci Jr. once joked that his pal Prince Harry is a great kisser. And there's the Foo Fighters, who Harry asked to play at the 2014 Invictus Games. The Royal became such good friends with frontman, Dave Grohl, he visited him in hospital back in 2015. He is the sweetest, he's a great guy. Grohl said in an interview with the BBC recently, Is there anyone not on Harry's speed dial? As for Meghan, she gave a hint of her eclectic music taste on her now-defunct lifestyle blog, The Tig, when she posted an upbeat playlist, which included electronic, folk band Crystal Fighters as well as Canadian electronic band Dragonette. Up-and-coming American artist Maggie Flowers, she was recently discovered by Pharrell Williams and there's funk offering in the form of Janelle Monet. At Prince William and Kate Middleton's wedding party in 2011, they chose up-and-coming Britelli Goulding to entertain their guests at their wedding reception at Buckingham Palace. One thing we can be sure of is that whoever gets that gig, it is going to be one heck of a party.